Welcome to Kingdom Reality, your gateway to deep insights into the truths and realities of God's kingdom. Dive deep into the teachings of esteemed teachers of God's Word as they illuminate the mysteries of Scripture, offering priceless wisdom and revelations. Our channel serves as a beacon of enlightenment, guiding seekers on a transformative journey towards understanding the essence of divine truth and purpose. Join us as we explore the depths of spiritual reality and embark on a quest for genuine understanding and spiritual growth, revealing kingdom realities. Please note for a lesson. There are many people in this world, but there are very few persons. People are born, persons are made. The difference between person or persons and people is influence. And what has gathered all of us here together tonight, beginning in this week-long celebration, is influence. This same week, across the globe, and come Friday, the 27th September, specifically, there are many who will be marking their birthday, but very few will gather people. It is persons that gathers people. It is influence that brings crowd. I know many of us seated here tonight will have had so many things to do in different places, but because of influence of one person, we are all gathered. An influence is born out of impact. Impact will turn you to an influence. And with the kind permission of God's servant, a celebrant, I'd like to urge all of us, especially young people, don't seek to be popular. Don't even seek to be influential, but seek to make impact. It is the mark you make that determines the rank you will wear. Let's go from here tonight, not just gratefully, thankfully celebrating the life of God's servant, but go with lessons, lessons, lessons that will make you the influence your world is waiting for. Men of impact, men of influence, don't seek recognition. Make your impact, you will draw your influence, and your influence will draw multitude towards you. Again tonight, we'd like to appreciate our Father, our Chancellor, for the great impact he has made in the lives of all of us. And it's our prayer tonight that God's hand will keep resting upon him. The glory of God upon his life shall not turn to shame. Amen. The honor of God upon his life shall not turn to reproach. Amen. His star will never go down. Amen. His sun will ever be shining. Amen. In Jesus' precious name. Thankfully for the privilege to make this remark, we will be rising up shortly. If you can, please stand to your feet. And... With gratitude to God, we'd like to respectfully invite our Father, the Chancellor, the celebrant of this moment, Dr. David Oedepo, to come and make his closing remark and blessing upon this wonderful audience. You're welcome, sir. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. All the glory must be to the Lord. For He is worthy of our praise. No man should be glory. To himself. All the glory must be to the Lord. 
All the glory must be to the Lord. Let's worship before Him. Amazing army of men and women, pathfinders and eagles, will return all of the glory to you. Amen. For guiding their path and your God ordained agenda for their lives, we say thank you. For settling them and establishing them in their various areas of callings, we say thank you and for confirming your word in their life into testimonies, we say thank you. Receive all of our thanks in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. And for all the amazing gifts tonight, those who give honor don't lack honor. You never lack honor. You never know shame. You never know reproach. You keep producing after your kind. Yeah. None of you become a byword and a proverb. Yeah. You will enjoy family dignity, yeah. career dignity, yeah. spiritual dignity. Yeah. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Amen. Please help me give the Lord a big hand of praise. <laughs> and be seated for a moment. By divine orchestration, I've received amazing tributes from all quarters. And one thing I never saw is what he has. No reference from any quarters, including family members, about what he has. Nobody will remember you forever by a reason of what you have, but what you add, what you add. Young people, don't be possession driven. Be contribution crazy. Be contribution crazy. Be contribution crazy. It's those who think others who become leaders. Self-seeking, possession craving only makes a slave. Time to the position. Time to the position. Not one said he has a car. <laughs> no one wrote a tribute he lived in a house. No one ever said he flies a plane. It's a cup of tea. <laughs> there is nothing you have that defines your worth. It's what you add that does. Someone without sight made the first class in law. Ah, Lord, thank you. Only you can do that. On the keyboard and playing the drums, only Jesus can do that. Dancing like David, celebrating God. I'm glad I've not wasted my life. I'm glad. Please, please, 
be contribution driven. Don't crave for position, crave for contribution. It is the value we add that defines our worth. I got three estates, I got five That's okay, there's nothing wrong. Is your life a blessing to any? Ask the question. I told this story several times. I used to have a friend. His name is Benji. And he would say to me, Brother David, what kind of car are you dreaming of? I said, I'm not dreaming of any. He would say, ask me my own. I said, Brother Benji, what kind of car are you thinking of? It was like a song to him. 504, metallic color, tinted glass, fully air conditioned. Nothing wrong with that. But when that preoccupies you, you have lost your place. Can I share this story with you? It's all of grace. Where Landmark University is built today, I said to God before I had the first bank account in my life, if you ever bless me, I want to put a little clinic here to help pregnant women from dying on the way to the hospital. That's far. I never knew he had a university mind. Where the head center is today at Landmark happens by divine orchestration to be the first areas that we bought. By thinking the well-being of others, you could entrust with that whatever plan you had in your hand. Please be contribution driven. Possession has no value. It has no value. You won't sleep in two rooms at a time. I have my daughter said, we need a boss. Now you got a boss tomorrow morning. Because Now listen, it's out of what he gives. I didn't bring money from heaven. David said, of thy have we given thee. Just down this morning, I knew I must give a coaster bus out. Because our announced in church, please let's just glorify Jesus. I'm not looking for a gift. Somebody say I had it, but I'm bringing you a coaster bus for outreaches. The same God that created you created us. So we owe him responsibility to be part of your joy till his miracle is wrought. And many wake up in the morning saying, yeah. It's not about having much, it's about having a heart. God's blessings is a function of our heart to be a blessing. And I will bless thee, and thou shall be a blessing. It's a component. My blessing will answer to live that you are a blessing, or you are committed to be a blessing. Take that home. Take that home.
There's nothing wrong in corporate gifts. It's normal. But there's no, it's not something for your personal engagement in being a contributor to the lives of those around you at the level you are part time. It always creates a future. Always creates a future. Always creates a future. Look at me. I'm not an expert. Don't ever call me an icon. I'm representing the icon, Jesus. I'm not an achiever. We don't achieve in the kingdom. We engage with grace to find our place. You can't be anything more than what the grace of God makes you. So engaging with grace is what gives us our place in the kingdom. Not receiving the grace of God in vain or making the most of it. I love the way that statement came. It is impact that engenders influence. You don't even need influence. Just keep adding value. Keep adding value. I saw most of you today. I can't even picture in person a number of faces. Yet, he said, Jesus saved you here. One day you walked up here, gave your life to Christ. You are now still standing 17 years after. What has I need in my life? I define what they call a founder today. God has found someone to announce what he wants to do to other people. You see, it's not that to find God. Hey, whom shall I send and who shall go for me? Are you there, David? Come. I want to build a university. Help me tell the people. So I came to tell you as his microphone. So I'm not a founder. He founded me. To let you know his agenda. So you can get set for it. You heard me say forever. When I go to heaven, when my time is come, nobody is permitted forever to rename covenant or landmark. The owner does not die. He ever lives. Your legacy is not in a name placed on a building. It's in the lives of people. My prayer again is that with open eyes, no one would miss his place in destiny. The good news is for everyone who is in the faith, please remain. The church of Jesus is ordained the end time reigning church. Nations will come to us saying, help us. The church is not a building, it's God's people who are working on their path, they're working on their way, they will come to us, come help us. They went for Joseph. They went for Daniel. The days are back here. Keep living by the world. So you, can't, you won't miss your place in that end, that end time army. Because of the greatness of that grace, beware of pride. With pride, you can't locate your place there. But blessed are they make, for they shall inherit the earth. Once again, young men and women, precious sons and daughters, the pathfinders and the eagles, I love you. <laughs> and I look forward to you scaling new heights in your various fields of endeavors. You are going places. Amen. Please stand to your feet. Shall we give the Lord Jesus the biggest hand of praise? Amen. Amen. For all the presenters tonight, you did marvelously. You did gloriously. Your lives will never lack melody. 
you not know weepings and mornings. You not suffer crisis in your homes. You not weep over your children. No one among us here dies young. And I mean worldwide. The colony of pathfinders and eagles. Not one is permitted to die young. If anyone among us is challenged at this time, I command divine rescue. Anyone on the sick bed, I command healing right now. Anyone going through stress, I decree breakthrough right now. And I pray that each one here will be a blessing. That God will grant you grace to be a blessing to your world. To be a blessing to your world. In the name of Jesus, so shall it be. No accident on your way. No bloodshed in your house. In the name of Jesus. Again, those who give honor don't lack honor. Receive honor back from God. When honor comes from God, no devil can stop it. Receive irreversible honor back from God. And so shall it be. In Jesus' name. Lift up those two hands and give God thanks. Have you been touched by the message you just heard and you want to give your life to Jesus or you want to rededicate your life to Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Then say this short prayer. Lord, I admit I am a sinner. I need and want your forgiveness. I accept your death as the penalty for my sin and recognize that your mercy and grace is a gift you offer to me because of your great love, not based on anything I have done. Cleanse me and make me your child. Be faithy receive you into my heart as the Son of God and as Savior and Lord of my life. From now on, help me live for you, with you in control. Dot in your precious name. Amen. Congratulations to you. If you have just said that prayer, you are now a child of God. Look around you for a Bible-believing church and also ask Jesus to direct you to the church where you can continue to serve Him. Consider subscribing to this channel too, so that you'll keep learning the realities of God's kingdom. God bless you.